So this is a click connect? Correct, yeah. Okay. So it's talking about the click connect when you put the base uh -huh. or the carrier in the base, it, it'll click in place. So it's a, and it'll connect to your base. Right. All right, so you have the lower anchors and tethers, which uh -huh. are here. Right. There and there, if you go straight back, you'll see those anchors there. You wanna grab this? Uh -huh. You wanna grab this, make sure it's facing down. Uh -huh. Where the bar is, right? That red there. one? Yep, yep, that red bar there. Uh -huh. You hook that onto there, make sure it's okay. locked. Uh -huh. You wanna do the same on this side. So we are latching with this only thing, right? Correct, yes. Yeah. So, well, this this here is just holding the latch to uh -huh. the actual base. So this, that's all this does. Uh -huh. And then, so I'm doing this. Did you put this now? It's already there. This was tucked in here. Oh, here. here. It's that's... already, it was like this. Correct. Oh, okay. But this was put away in yep. here. Yep. But it was already attached like that. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do the same on this side. Uh -huh. Center it. You know, I'm doing this my first time, you know, feels amazing. At the same time, I'm learning. Yeah, a little <laughs> scary, I'm sure. So just center it in between the, the two of them there, and then yeah. we'll tighten down. So this little... So this right here? Yeah. You pull, you pull tight. Okay, from there. Okay. Yeah, to make sure that this isn't twisted, then it's nice and flat. Mm -hmm. So now you pull on here. Okay. So this. So it has to be that sturdy. Well, this is loose. We don't want. We don't want this to be. This is. We don't want this to be flying up like this at Correct. this angle. Okay. Correct. Uh -huh. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna try and figure out how to get rid of that. Okay. So this is the issue with. Not an issue, but the design of the seat mm -hmm. and how. So because this little weird angle is here right it doesn't allow for this to bump up all the way up against here so Correct. it creates this like gap in here Correct. so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a pool noodle i'm gonna put down here to bring this up oh. and so now that it goes all the way up against it uh -huh. and that there's something that the car seat sits on and then we're gonna check to make sure that this is level like that, that. that is in between there. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that what works about if we take out the white though? Yeah. If you take this out, then this is gonna be out of whack. Yes. Here. See, so, it so we have. It should be in the middle, right? Right. Uh, it yeah. should be somewhere in the middle there once it's tightened up. Yeah. So I know we're gonna need probably most of this, uh -huh. but I'm gonna have to get a, a noodle, a pool noodle there, pool noodle, okay. so that I can put it in place and that sits on there uh. like that. Okay. So bit. this is you. You have already done the pool noodle also. Oh yeah. Pool yeah it's, a, okay. it's something, especially yes. with cars like this. Oh, that have this, this wow. This weird little gap here. Normally <laughs> this comes out. Yes. Like this. Yeah. But this, for some reason, Hyundai, they make this little gap oh, in here. Oh It's not a big deal. It's fairly common. So usually you do this. Oh yeah. Oh okay. That is recommendable still. Yeah, it's okay. common. It's okay. com it's it's common with the vehicles that have that little gap here. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, okay, sir. I understand. If I can just get you to fill this out for me here. Yep. As much information as you can, sign and daycare, please. Sure. By the time I will be ready. Thank be right you. Uh -huh. Thanks. Car seat fix pan on that. Baby got a baby car. Despite my first time. So, getting to know these little things to learn. That's why California Highway Patrol car seat fix particularly on this particular day. Only one day in a week. 
ஸோ என்ன சொல்கிறாரு இந்த இடத்துல வந்து உங்களுக்கு நூடுல் ஒன்று கேட்கணும் நூடுல்னா பூல் நூடுல் அது வந்து பிளாஸ்டிக் தான் லைட் பிளாஸ்டிக் அது வந்து ஸ்விம்மிங் பூலில் போடுவாங்க ஸோ அதை வைக்கிறேன்றாரு லெட் சி இட் இஸ் வாட் இட் இஸ் ஸோ மீன் வேறு நான் அந்த ஃபார்ம் ஃபில் பண்ணுறேன் So you want to make sure that this is flat all the way across. You sure? And then one side is flat, you just bring this down and it'll lock in place. Mm -hmm. That's all is that's this what you want. Correct now? Yes, so that okay. is in between these two black lines here, which is what we want the level there. Okay. And when we grab this from the belt path here, should it move side to side more than an inch. Oh. You want that to be nice and sturdy. That's right. From the front, you will create leverage so it'll move and wiggle a little more. Mm -hmm. But from the back here at the belt it path. It shouldn't. Right. Then nice now it is stable, yeah. Yep. So, that's so this that's... noodle will be safe too, right? It will not move around. No, it should yeah. move around. It's With time over the use, it might loosen up a little bit. Uh -huh. You make the adjustment, you take this back out. And, and then tighten it out some more. Sure. And then just leave it in place. But it shouldn't loosen up too much. And yes, again, sir. it's just within reason. It shouldn't move side to side more than an inch front to back. So the way mm -hmm. it is right now, it's perfect there. While we have this here, you also I'll point out... Car seats do have expiration dates. For example, this car seat was made June 12 of 2019. Uh -huh. The model number is here. Uh -huh. Car seats generally expire six years, six to seven years. Most yeah. likely this one is six years from the date of manufacture. Uh -huh. Okay, so keep okay. an eye on that, future sure. families. Yeah, definitely. Um, something else to keep in mind, if you are ever involved in a traffic collision with a yeah. car seat in the vehicle, uh -huh. make sure that you report it to your insurance company. Most policies out there will cover the replacement cost of a car seat. Oh, okay. okay. So okay. just check with your insurance company, but your car seat should be replaced. The car insurance company. Correct, yes. Okay. Um, your car seat should be replaced in case that happens. Oh, okay. Another thing I'll mention this is this is a rear facing only car seat. Yes. For uh, an infant, this does not convert to forward facing. Okay. Never, never at all, yeah. Never forward facing, yeah. only rear facing. Rear facing, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. To cover the law, the law requires that children forward face, mm -hmm. or I'm sorry, that children race to the rear, they face to the rear until they're two years old, yes. 40 pounds or 40 inches. Okay? Yes. yes sir. So, this car seat is good until where's your carrier? Is in the trunk? I'll bring it, yep. Right. I have a little stick in the end. Yeah. So this is a snug right 35, which indicates as a reminder that this car seat is only good until your baby's 35 pounds. Yes. There's also a, a, a length limit of 32 inches. So 35 pounds or 32 inches, inches. is the limit for uh, this carrier. Okay. Once your child reaches 35 pounds or 32 inches, you can no no longer to use, use car yes. seat. Yes. If your child happens to get to um, to be 35 pounds and they're a year and six months, mm -hmm. by law you can't go forward facing, you have to keep them mirror facing. That's when you have to buy the convertible car seat, yeah. which normally will go up to a maximum rear facing of about 40 to 45 pounds, depending on the manufacturer. There's Graco, mm -hmm. there's Bright Tax, there's, yeah, yeah. there's Kiko, there's a whole bunch of manufacturers yep. out there. Mm -hmm. the, the convertible will keep them rear facing until they get to two years old. Two years old. At mm -hmm. that point, you can go forward facing. However, okay. we always recommend you keep them mirror facing as long as possible. Uh, rear facing that is, is the safest position in the True, vehicle. true. Okay. Definitely. This, um, 
this is a registration card which we highly recommend you fill out mm -hmm. and mail in with your information so in case there's any recalls that the Graco can send you a recall oh, notice in the future good. of something developed so sure. fill that out it has the same sticker that's on your base and the same sticker that's also down here which okay. covers when the car seat was made correct okay? correct that's what i can send it to them by mail yes just okay. send it to it by mail okay this is your owner's your owner's manual, yep. which we'll put in the base. So you just put it in there uh, so that it's, in case it's needed, okay. sure. yeah, in case you ever need it. Um, we highly recommend that before you get to the hospital, I don't know if your wife is already there or not, but mm -hmm. before the baby gets here, that you play around and become familiar with how this whole system yeah, works, definitely. okay? Um, you're going to take this up to the hospital room uh, where your baby is born, Correct. Correct. and you're going to secure the baby, and then you're going to bring the baby down in the carrier, okay? Mm -hmm. yep. So the way this comes apart, this is a chest clip. You push on this, yes. and it comes to the side put together it just clips in place like mm -hmm. that okay mm -hmm. comes apart this is just like a seat belt in a vehicle you push the red button and yep. it comes across it comes across yeah so this is where the baby's gonna go uh -huh. you're gonna set the baby in place here you put this in between the baby's legs yep. and then buckle the baby down yeah make sure that this doesn't become twisted like that yeah. when you when you buckle this in there clear it sure, out yep you clear it out so that it's nice and flat Perfect. You buckle down, mm -hmm. this clips in place. Yeah. And now something that's really important is that you you grab the buckle here and you pull up. You pull up uh -huh. so, Make that, sure, uh, so that there is no, sometimes when you set the baby in place, mm -hmm. sometimes the baby will sit on some of this slack here. So you wanna make sure you pull it up okay. so that this is hugging right around the baby's hips, okay? Yeah. Initially, it's gonna seem a little awkward. Babies yeah. are tiny, newborns are small. It's gonna seem like the car seat is way too big. <laughs> but do your best to yeah, tighten sure. this up like that. Sure. And now when you pull on here, uh -huh. that's gonna shorten the harness yeah. and it's gonna tighten down on the baby. You're gonna have to make several adjustments. Okay. And keep testing to make sure that you can put a finger between two the fingers chest or one finger. You can do two or one as okay. long as you're able to feel the baby's chest uh -huh. and the chest clip. That's fine. If you can't, so you put your fingers in here and you're you're pulling up on here and you don't feel your baby's chest. It's a little too loose. Okay, you want to tighten down so you feel your baby's chest and the chest clip. So how do we how do we release it? Just pull. There's the a button in here. Oh. So see that button push down? Oh, that's When you push down, uh, got it. Got that it. loosens up on it, got okay? It. Thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. You push this button here and pull out, that loosens down, and that's a tiny. Easy. Okay, right. nice. Uh, another thing we'll mention is these are going to grow with your baby. Uh-huh. Okay? So these are gonna grow with your baby. This yes. right now is at its lowest setting, which is appropriate for a newborn. However, yeah. as the baby gets older and taller, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to make movements once you start seeing that the baby's shoulders are, are getting closer to this next opening and the harnesses are now going back and under. Yes, when you start so this will that, increase. Correct, this right. is gonna move up with yep. your baby, okay? Yep. So the next setting that's gonna be above this one, mm -hmm. you're gonna turn the car seat around. So let me loosen this up. Sure. You're gonna turn the car seat around. This right here, yes. see how there's an opening there? Uh huh. And there's a loop in the carry. Oh, uh, yeah. This comes out. Yes. You're gonna feed it out. Uh huh. You have one more opening in this to be able to use for That's your baby. Since it is infant, yeah. Right, for yeah. the infant. So the next one's gonna be to here. You're gonna put it in through that hole, yeah. which mm -hmm. corresponds to an opening that's on the other side as well. True. It goes through there. Yep. So now that it's through there, we come back to our metal clip that's you mean here. Not just this one as well? Yeah, so we come back to the metal yes, clip and then we put it through there. On the middle, right? In this middle one here. Yeah, middle. This one, this opening here, will be when you're all the way up here. Uh, you're gonna need to grab this one because uh -huh. it's you're gonna need the space to be able to tighten. Otherwise, there's not gonna be enough space to tighten oh, them down. It's gonna be tight on the baby, gotcha. okay? Remembrance. But this one is all the way up here at the top, okay? okay? Top one. And then, so we did this one, now we're gonna do the same with Correct. this one. This we one. recommend you do one at a time in case you forget mm -hmm. how this is tightened in there, okay? Yes. So that's what you're gonna do. And now we'll put this back to where it needs to be. This is later, right? Correct, so there's no After age. After how, how many months? 
it, it just depends on how quick your baby grows. Okay. There's okay. no right. I can't tell you. You know, after three months, it, it may be on the ice. Yeah. Correct. Just yeah. Go by mission on ice. Correct. Yeah. Okay. It just just goes by fit. If your child is getting it grows quick and they have a growth spurt, then you might go up here maybe at three months. Sure. Maybe at it may take all the way up to four months. Yeah. Okay. It just depends on how quick your baby grows. Okay. You also have different settings for the buckle here. This buckle should be enough. And again, the first movement is probably not going to be until after the six month part, depending six, six month age, depending on how quick your baby grows. But keep an eye on this buckle. You have one more setting that you mm -hmm. can go up here. Okay. If this starts going, you know, your baby starts, this starts going under your baby's bottom and it's here, putting like pressure this, in the yeah. baby's crotch, then move it forward. Okay. It's very easy to do. So. You, Turn this car seat over. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to grab this. Okay. And you pull it through like that, and then you put it sideways. Oh. So sideways is how you take it out of that. To take it out. Okay. Yeah, to take it out. So once it's sideways, you pull it through. You it through this side so or the other right. side. If it doesn't go through this side, then you go. There's an additional space through here, so that's mm -hmm. gonna help it. There you go. See how oh, it's going yeah, through yeah, just yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. So now that it goes through, we pull it over. Pull it. So it comes out, okay. and then you pull it sideways again yep, through the corresponding. Through this side. Pull it out. Okay. Nice. Thank you for the demo. This is yeah, detail. Of so you pull detail. it all the way out. Once it's all the way out, uh -huh. then it goes sideways, which it'll lock. Sometimes a little bit more involved. That it. is a pretty tight position there. Yeah, it's a tight fit, oh, but it goes through. Good. space <laughs> there we go so now that it's through yeah and then that locks in place yes okay so that's what you want yep. but we'll move it back to the back yeah thank you mm -hmm. And that's that. That's in place there. Perfect. Okay. Um, your carrier. Uh huh. You have to push these buttons so that you. The middle one. It's on the hiding there. This should have been on, oh. on the on the outside. So. Push this button. Connect. Okay. Carrier. This is a carry position here. This yeah. is how we're going to carry your infant. Okay. And then this is a shade that goes under. Like yes. That. Oh, okay. Underneath. Yeah. Yep. Underneath mm -hmm. the carrier. So that's how you would carry this. Perfect. If you were going to set your baby on the ground or on a table, you want to move this okay. all the way to the bottom. Uh -huh. So if you're going to put it on the ground, this stabilizes the car seat. Okay. Yes. If you're gonna have the accessory, generally in this position here, you have this on a stroller. If you have a stroller, this clicks onto a stroller. Yeah. This may or may not. I don't know if you have the access. Yeah, I tried it. Yeah. Like a, like a bumper. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
But uh, every time you're gonna carry it, you're gonna carry your baby, make sure that this handle Bring it to the is front. locked in the carry position just like that. Correct. Okay. The now when this goes in your carry in your base inside uh -huh. your car. Your owner and manual's gonna go in here. Okay, perfect. When you put your carrier in here. Make sure that this locks into the carrier. Okay? The sound, yeah. Into the base, just like that makes a sound when it's locked in place. To remove this, you have the release back here. Yep. To Take get it, it out. Uh -huh. In place. Now this, so this is here, this normal. is okay. Normal. This is normal. It's absolutely normal. It's designed like that by the manufacturer, so there's some give in case of a traffic collision. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the movement that you're gonna get absolutely fine what you don't want to move is the base the base yes. uh -huh. another thing i'll mention is if you have a passenger in here make sure that they don't scoot their seat so that they're pushing up on here okay? no yeah you don't want that you, you want to have it. some space in between on here mm -hmm. this is this you can still there's plenty of room to move back however they should be able to move free yes so about an inch to two inches of space between the back should of be there and this here, yes. okay yes sir if the fabric touches if you have this back Mm -hmm. When this fabric is touching, it's okay. Okay. The fabric is okay. What you don't want to touch is the actual, uh, the actual car The base, yeah, yeah, the metal is here. Yep. Okay. Thank you. These uh, are a lot of detailed information. Of there is, yeah. Why? So something else, there's also stickers all the way around the car seat to tell you and to remind you mm -hmm. the weight restriction between 4 and 35 pounds for this car seat, yep. 32 inches or centimeters if you're, um, if you want to use centimeters. There's also here, this right here tells you to keep the, the harness at shoulder level, mm. right at the shoulder harness, not, yeah. not, not above the shoulder, but right at level there with the, with the shoulders. Right. Um, and then this one here, the head should not be within an inch of the top. Oh, so the very top uh, of the, the top. car seat. Okay. Yeah. Not more than that. Okay. okay. Uh, oops. What is it? Oh, yeah. Um, let's see what else. Any other questions that you may come up with? Or no. have at this point. I know it's a lot of information. But. Yeah, you already throwed me a bunch. So yeah. <laughs> thank you for that. Um, first, <laughs> if you're in a bind, if you want, uh, for some reason, to use a carrier without the base, you mm -hmm. can use a carrier without the base. Not recommended for everyday use. However, if you're in a pinch or in a bind where you don't have access to your carrier, or I'm sorry, to your base, base. If you're for some reason you loan the car to somebody and that you're you have your baby with the carrier, you can secure the carrier in a vehicle just using the seatbelt and I'll demonstrate on that side. Sure. You want to switch spots? I'll come on the other side. side. Yep. All right. So if you have your baby with the carrier, you don't have your base, you want to, obviously your baby would already be in here. Uh-huh. If you have a towel, a jacket, shoes, a purse, whatever you have on hand okay. to put in here. It would take up this dead space because uh -huh. you know you have all this space here. Yeah. You want to put that in here in place. Mm. So now that you have that in place, uh, you see this red line here? You want to level that with the ground. Have it okay. be as level with the ground as possible. Uh, Just kind of okay. eyeball it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is why it's not recommended for everyday use because it's very, very common to make a mistake and not level it as easy as you can with when you have your base. Correct. But this is in a bind. You'll want to grab the seatbelt, put the lap portion of the seatbelt through here and through here. Oh. Just the lap portion of the seatbelt, okay? Okay. And we'll you buckle say. it down. Okay. Once it's buckled down, mm -hmm. The seat belt here, you see how it goes in and out? Mm -hmm. If I pull it quick, it's going to lock. Yeah. However, as soon as I let go of that tension, it's going to go back to normal. We yes. want this to be the set the retractor back here to, to be locked. Mm -hmm. The way you do that, you slowly pull it out. And I say slowly because as soon as I go quick, it's going to lock. You lock. don't want that. So you want to do slowly until you reach the end. Okay. Once you reach the end, you hear that ratcheting sound? Uh -huh. That's what you want to hear. So now it doesn't matter how slow. Mm -hmm or how quick I pull it, it's gonna remain locked. Yes. Once that is locked, you wanna pull on the shoulder portion of the seatbelt and that's gonna tighten down on the lap portion of the seatbelt. Yes, seat belt. yes. Okay. And this is why it's important that you have a rolled up towel or something to take up the mm. bottom portion in here. True. Because as you tighten on here, it's gonna wanna tilt forward. Yes. So that's what you don't want. You wanna keep pulling as tight as possible. Uh-huh. While maintaining that that red line to be yes. level with the ground. Level with the ground, yeah. Yep. So right now we don't have anything. No, tightening. it's so tight it's too. Chill. Yeah, it'll if you if you have something down here and you keep timing, it'll, it'll make it tight. Yeah. Yep, it'll make it tighter and tighter. 
Okay. So again, not recommended for everyday use. Yeah, but just in case, it's, it's good. It it'll keep it in place in case of a rollover. It'll keep your car seat in place. Oh, okay. And, and uh, keep your baby where they need to. This is my emergency situation. Yeah. Correct. Thank yeah. you. Yep. Mm -hmm. You have the base. There's no real reason why you would ever use this because you already have your base in place. Yep. But if you had to, this is one way you would do it. Yes, sir. Okay. Appreciate that. And then once you release it, your seatbelt goes back to normal, normal operation. Mm. So it works normal. So, okay. So it's sweet. Here. Perfect. It's locked. And you're all set. Perfect. Thank you, Maureen. Sure. Thank you so much. No problem. You just take down the model number. Yeah. And you have oh. your registration card, right? We give that to you. What's the registration card? For the car seat to register. Yeah, you, you gave it to me. Okay. Yep. Keep this record on file in case you have any questions. You can give us a call. We'll refer to this and know what kind of car seat we install, okay. and we can answer some questions over the phone. That's or great. you're always welcome to come in and make another appointment. We'll sure. go over whenever you buy your convertible car seat. You know you're ready to go forward facing with your child. Huh. You can come in, mm -hmm. and we can re we can install that car seat as well. Thank you. Another thing I'll mention is when you go forward facing, these anchors at the bottom have weight restrictions of 60 to 65 pounds, depending on the vehicle manufacturer. Um, that's your car seat and your baby combined. Mm. So we always recommend, or I always recommend that when you go forward facing, you use a seat belt to uh -huh. secure your car seat, your convertible car seat, instead of the little anchors. Okay. okay, so this is down the line when your baby's two years old. Right now, you don't have anything to worry about. Those anchors are more than that. More fine. Saving up. Yep. So uh, another thing is, before even buying any other car, I'll be looking at this level first. That's something, yeah. That that's is something most to consider. important. Yeah, we yeah. can... We can overcome it, use a pool noodle. However, you know, whatever car seat, any and 90% of the car seats out there are made to not have that. You uh, just, your Hyundai for some reason yeah, has it in there, uh -huh. but it's not a problem. We can always <laughs> overcome it okay. and install it properly with a pool noodle. It's just a little extra step. I think it's only to. happening in the sedan cars. In sedan? Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, there's other sedans out there. Most Hondas, you know. Hondas nice, especially, yeah. Yeah, but if it's a sport <laughs> sedan, oh, like yeah. the Hondas have the sport sedan, they may have a little bit deeper bucket. Uh -huh. um, a little bit extra step we have to take, but we can still <laughs> install it in their seat. Great. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much for the detailed right. help and everything. Thanks sure. for allowing me to take the video. <laughs> yeah, no problem. You're welcome. You can show you your awesome. Right, take care. Take care. Have a good day. Bye. Good day, sir. Ramana Allah officer. My PL. Friendly prisoner. So nice. Perfect. In baby care ready. நல்லா பண்ணிவிட்டு எவ்வளவு டீட்டெயில் சொன்னார் பார்த்தீங்களா அப்பா அதுவும் இல்லாமல் இங்கே வச்சு சொன்னார் பார்த்தீங்களா எமர்ஜென்சி சுச்சுவேஷன் அது எந்த ஆஃபீஸரும் சொல்ல மாட்டாங்க அதெல்லாம் நமக்கும் தெரியாது நல்ல வேலை இவர் சொன்னதால் அப்படி பண்ணலான்னு நமக்கு தெரிஞ்சுது சொல்லலைன்னாலும் நம்ம நானே தேங்கிவோம் அப்படிலாம் பண்ணக்கூடாதுன்னு ஸோ வெரி நைஸ் தேங்க்ஸ் டு மாரியோ ஹி ஆல்சோ கோ பை மார்க்கோ இங்கே பாருங்கள் சைன்லாம் பாருங்கள் இது வந்து ஹேண்டிகேப்டு லாட் இது அந்த ஹேண்டிகேப்ட் லாட்டில் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இது ஹேண்டிகேப்ட் ஸோ கரெக்டாக சொல்லுங்க ஹேண்டிகேப்ட் அதுக்கு ஒரு லைசன்ஸ் இருக்குது அது லைசன்ஸ்னால் என்ன இவங்க வந்து இப்போ போலீஸ் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட்டை சொல்லி நிறைய எனக்கு எனக்கு கால் நடக்க முடியாது நான் வீல் சேர் யூஸ் பண்ணுறேன் அப்படின்னு சொன்னாங்கன்னா அவங்களுக்கு ஒரு பேட்ச் கொடுத்துருவாங்க அந்த பேட்ச் உள்ளங்க மட்டும்தான் இந்த பார்க்கிங் லாட்டில் பார்க் பண்ண முடியும் வேறு யாரும் பார்க் பண்ண முடியாது பண்ணாங்கன்னா டூ ஃபிஃப்டி டாலர் ஃபைன் இருக்குது ஸோ அதுக்காக தான் இது ரெண்டு பார்க்கிங் பார்த்திங்கன்னா அது ஒன்று இது ஒன்று இது ஒன்று நடுவில் வந்து நோ பார்க்கிங் ஒன்லி ஃபார் பார்த்துவே அந்த மாதிரி அந்த ஓட்டிகிட்டு வராங்கள்ல வீல் சேர் அவங்க ஏறி வர்றதுக்கு இந்த இடம் இதில் ஏறி வந்துடுவாங்க அப்படி ஆஃபீஸ் தான் ஆஃபீஸ் அது அப்படி காட்டும் பாருங்கள் ஃப்ளவர்ஸ்லாம் பாருங்கள் போலீஸ் ஸ்டேஷன் முன்னாடி ஃப்ளவர்ஸ் தான் இருக்குது தப்பு ஸோ அதான் ஆஃபீஸ் இது நல்லதான் இருக்கு இது வந்து மோர் பார்க் போலீஸ் 
Public Service Center the Moor Park. Something is uh, stainless steel mark in the statue. Trees like a target for me, no large grand. So in the button, not the ring lay in the button at the night. The button at the Nakana on the fish per foot ten. Adida number on the signal on the name of the Nanda and the road to Pila. In the intersection, so long. Super baby car seat ready. Thank you. All right, catch you guys later. Bye.